Hi Scorpio, here is a general look at your solar chart for March 2016 and the Sun is in a good angle to your Sun um, for much of this month but there's other goodies in the pipeline actually. There's going to be two eclipses, so the first eclipse is a total solar eclipse happening um, on March the 8th and that'll be 18, nearly 19 degrees. Um, and that will have a, a, a potentially a very good effect for you, uh, Scorpio. And then the second one is a lunar eclipse happening on March the 23rd. Um, and that is in a more sort of service orientated, getting the act together area. In fact, there's, um, uh, there's going to be some of that going on this month anyway. And, uh, okay, so uh, the solar eclipse, which is a powerful one, often eclipses show themselves before they actually occur, which is the real mysterious thing about eclipses. So you might start seeing this expressing itself in your life, particularly if any of your important points in your natal chart is near the degree of the eclipse. Um, so we have this solar eclipse bringing this, this, this wave of energy of new beginnings into your life new beginnings and uh, th there's also a knock-on effect going to be happening with Saturn, with Jupiter, with Chiron, with Neptune, a bit of Pluto thrown in there, um, s some good, some you know supportive and some needing a little bit of extra work um, <clears throat> but ultimately they're they're all supportive you know if, if we can just uh, it, it's, it's about timing, it's always about timing so um, we've got this solar eclipse in Pisces and that for you is to do with creative projects, um, enterprises, um, uh, just be, being generally playful and creative, also bringing out that inner child side of you or indeed having more interaction with young people, children um, as well. But in general, um, uh, this eclipse energy could start showing itself before that you feel more kind of in the zone. You're feeling more and more and more empowered um, with what's uh, going on uh, for you and also a feeling that you are being appreciated and valued for it because um, others are interested. Maybe groups of others are interested in your take on this or that or the other thing or what you're doing. Um, and it can be uh, connecting with friends, connecting with associates, connecting with the group dynamic, very much so. And, and there's a real progressive vibe with this for you, um, uh, uh, Scorpio. <clears throat> um, okay, and uh, these fresh beginnings can be occurring. And uh, this is the other thing about eclipses, is that they continue to unpack themselves and unfurl over the subsequent 6 to 12 to even 18 months after they've occurred. So if, if particularly, as I say, if it's near an important degree for you, it can be quite important for you in your general sort of um, life. But there will be things coming to the surface, maybe, that they need to be threshed out. Um, because we never get away scot-free when Chiron's around. So um, so that's that's good. And then we have the lunar eclipse that's on the 23rd and this will be encouraging new beginnings um, for you maybe with work, maybe with training, maybe with you know the methods you use, um, the equipment, that kind of thing. That, uh, that kind of thing. And again, that will be unfurling and unfolding over the subsequent month or so. And then we also have uh, other uh, little bits of news here. We've got the sun going over Saturn uh, on the 5th to the, s the 7th. So um, that means that you are already, you've got Saturn in an area until the end of 2017 where you've got to work in a more focused, concentrated and really quite consistent way um, uh, uh, with um, anything related to the piggy bank. Um, uh, the material side of life, the material security side of life, property side of life, uh, and equipment, resources of various kinds which can be useful to you, but also with your own talent. That's where you have to take responsibility and say, okay, I need a certificate to go with this talent that I was born with. Okay, so, and uh, it takes us a while to find out how, what these things might be, and, 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 and you know, we're lucky if we do. Um, or maybe, yeah, we're lucky, we're lucky if we do. Um, 
uh, and then just try and find a way to work with that thing that is absolutely your unique thing. You might have more than one. You might definitely have more than one. So um, bringing, bringing the strands together and integrating and you can be successful, um, uh, but you need disciplined effort. Uh, you Scorpio is born the 6th to the 9th of November with 15 to 17 degrees rising. You're gonna feel the position of Saturn most this month, but this eclipse is also going to be having a knock-on effect towards that uh, position of Saturn and uh, gradually, uh, you know, the, as I say, everything was, uh, ha have said, everything with Saturn is gradual, but the eclipse energy is going to put this like, like this boost of like a little mini tidal wave of energy underneath, underneath it, allowing for new beginnings to be coming in there related to the material side of life the side of life to do with your, uh, um, you know, the, the, the wherewithal that we all need, food on the table, roof over the head, etc. New beginnings there. Interesting. And um, then, of course, where Jupiter is as well, Jupiter is in a very fortunate angle for you, a really powerful angle helping you a lot. Um, and is well disposed towards your sign. So Jupiter is helping you to grow through new associations, friendships of all kinds, a network of, 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 of people or gr a group who have a sp special sort of things in common that they like. And, uh, and you could be, um, you know, very much uh, making new friends, new associations, um, uh, getting involved with, it, with, with a group dynamic. The internet is likely to be quite important for some of you. Um, expanding your world, expanding your world through those channels. Um, and also it's got a real progressive feel, the position of Jupiter. So this eclipse again could put a, 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 a real sort of um, boost of, of energy under under that uh, to, to unfold and unfurl over the months to come. And uh, um, you Scorpios are uh, born 6th to the 12th of November or with 14 to 20 degrees rising under field position of Jupiter the most, but the actual eclipse energy will uh, also um, be spanning that, but also be affecting those of you uh, born a little bit later on. Uh, probably. Um, yeah, it's going to be uh, more along the lines of... Um, uh, yeah, it's... Uh, it's it's in there yeah it's 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 in there it's 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 within that sort of 6th to the 12th of november but in 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 decreasing de decreasing uh decreasing effect as as you go up further further from there i'm getting a little bit too involved here because actually the whole sign is going to feel it but the nearer you are obviously to the sort of like the 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 kind of the drum beat coming out of the amp you're going to hear hear it more or feel oh, yeah, yeah feel it more <laughs> okay so and then we have what else do we have well we do have um uh i don't know how i got back on that again but then we have jupiter and saturn in the sky going over each other's degrees so jupiter is the great expander and saturn is the great contractor so you figure that one out so the way i would see this is you might f find that you have a wide range of options within a tight sort of limited kind of box or not too tight. It doesn't have to be too tight because actually Saturn is going to, I'm sorry, Jupiter is going to push those boundaries out a bit. But you will probably find that within the parameters of a certain rules or certain conditions in weather or certain environment, you you, you you realize that actually there there is a lot that you can you know it's, 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 there's a, a wider range of options within within there uh, for you to work with um and um that is um helping you to yeah right okay um that's a very sociable area for you that that is connecting with others groups of others etc that like I, like I was just uh, saying to you and at the same time um, improving things with the piggy bank now when Mars comes in there which Mars has been in your sign giving you a lot of oomph and energy um, 
and maybe you having to being a bit you know in getting involved in conflict sometimes a bit combative sometimes and whoo you know i'm gonna um I'm going to duck. I'm 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 going to run in the other direction when a when a Scorpio starts sharpening his sting or her sting, um, because that is the cruelest cut. So you know you got some power there. Just be kind with it. <laughs> um, but anyway, Mars is coming out of there on the sixth, out of your sign on the sixth, and going into the piggy bank area where Saturn is. So this again will stimulate very strongly and 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 you then get far more focused and decisive and physically engaged in improving things with the piggy bank or with property uh, or with um, the material side of life in other ways maybe even with diet and exercise for some of you um, yeah and it can be like that it can also be about you know um, um, uh, maintenance um, it can be about pr pr protecting something which is you know un un in your possession or under your care in in some way something or someone you know like that okay and um, uh, and Mars is really gonna fire that out Mars is gonna stay in there quite a while Mars will be in there until uh, May um, I think it's late May actually and um, then goes back into your sign for another long stint so you're getting a lot of Mars this year you can get a lot done uh, a lot done but don't let Mars run you ragged okay so the Sun and um, Mercury and uh, Venus so just uh, mention these quickly uh, as we start off the Sun until the 20th is 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 in this uh, uh, creative area it's the area of children it's the area of the inner child it's is the area where you can be more feeling empowered in what you're doing more into it uh, more maybe center stage as well having more access to entertainments and playful activities if you want to go that way or maybe work for you is entertaining I don't know um, and then uh, we have mercury and um, uh, Venus right down at the root of your chart uh, so uh, this can be about the home base it can be about DIY this can be about um, um, family connecting with others a neighborhood a society I mean a community a tribe um, it can be like that or it can be you know about the physicality of point on the map it can be like that as well um, it can be also about mother nature and really enjoying that it's a nice feeling here it's a teamwork feeling it's a feeling of support it's a good feeling and then those two move out of there and they all go into the same area or every, the Sun Mercury and Venus are all in the same area which is to do with cre the creativity side it's not so sensitive as the previous area either where they were when they get out of there Mercury comes out of there on the fifth and Venus comes out of there on the 12th so 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 sometimes a little bit kind of harking back to the past or maybe thinking more about you know history and things and maybe parents and that kind of thing but then they all go into the next area which is this more playful area this empowered area this area to do with speculative projects and enterprising kind of activities as well as leisure um, and entertainments and they're all in there for a while and then the sun comes out of there on the 20th and goes into a kind of area which says okay get your act together roll up your sleeves and get into this and get it how you want it to be whatever that is whether it's health or work related maintenance repairs applying skills learning new skills very much you could be learning new skills uh, especially considering um, yeah the Jupiter um, position there because those people that you're rubbing shoulders with are maybe sharing their knowledge with you you see um, either in a formal sort of scenario or, or, or not and I think that's everything so uh, that's it for March if you know your rising sign and your moon sign listen to those um, if you are um, wanting more information also you, if you do want to read this it's up on my website uh, dianagarland.com you'll find the text of this up there and uh, that's it. I'll see you in the next time.